Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and in this week's review we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers number 65 Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie and as we can see him here recent released I'm actually quite happy with this because this is one of the figures that I've been mostly like wanting and looking forward to but as we can see here you got the Transformers Generation text logo up there um Transformers Generation text logo and all that stuff. But for the packaging, you do have a nice open window that fully showcases the figure. You have a nice CGI image of him there. Number 65 Blitzwing Bumblebee. And then on the side here, we have an amazing CGI image of him here. As we can see, he is a Voyager class. And then for the back here, you have your Powertory shots here, along with um, Jet Mode, Robot Mode, Transformers 27 Steps. And it comes with a cool backdrop, which I'll be displaying in the instructions. Big screen is barred and all that jazz. And Blitzwing silences Bumblebee. That's his bio. And then for the side here, we have an outer CGI image of him there. So anyways, guys. And then you got the Bumblebee word and stuff, barcode. But anyways, guys, that's roughly about it for the packaging. So let's go on ahead and open this guy up and see what awaits us inside. And here we have Studio Series Blitzwing opened up and out of the packaging. So I'll now start showing you guys some of the manuals now. So as TF Collector did say that the head sculpt seemed different, well, actually, no. It's actually the regular because you can see the two eyes, and I don't know if I can get it to focus enough. But you guys could probably see it. But no. It does kind of look like a different head sculpt, and I don't blame for TF Collector for doing so. But, yeah, no. I see what he means. These kind of look like goggles right there, but they're not. You can see, like, the... If I can, I'm going to take my pocket knife real quick, and I'm going to point it out right here with that pointy of it is. That's his eyes. So, no. That's what it was. And you have all 27 steps. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it displays any of the other, um, wait, it does, my mistake, hold on, Skipjack is the next one in line, can't wait to get overload, so that's roughly about it for the instructions, and here we have, oh, uh, <laughs> Blitzwing opened up and out of the packaging, like I said, oh, now as you guys can see, pretty nice, people say he's not an F4 like he was in the movie, that may be, but honestly, it really doesn't matter as long as it's like in its jet mode and stuff. So yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, you guys. Pretty nice. So, he does come with a few accessories, and real quick, I'm just going to point that out. He comes with a blaster, which stores under here, which I'm going to go ahead and unpeg that. You can see like a little slot right here that's going to peg into here, that little slot, and you just want to go on ahead Peg that in and there you go. And then he does have a couple of thingy boppers as accessories also. And then his little pointy hand thingy is stores in the back. But as I saw, Optibotomus also stored the weapon, I think, right here, I think. I think right here. Optibotomus stored it right here, which is okay. It's not terrible. Pretty nice detailed, if you ask me. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe point that light over here just a tad bit. Go into the light just a bit. But yeah, color changes quite a bit. But yeah, you can see the pointy hand thingy. I'm gonna go ahead and just take that off. And for here, the cone, I mean like the nose of the plane's good. You got some faded color that goes up to here, it fades and it's pretty nice. I've um, the cockpit closes really nice and everything. The cockpit does open up, which reveals his head and stuff like that. And yeah, my uh, copy is not so terrible. It's pretty nice. I like it. Um, I think I think this is pretty cool, you guys. I, I I really am impressed with this. You can see some red lines going through up and down for here, so you can see. Um, I just, I really like how this has like a pattern right here that fades in the color up here, like with the gray here. You can see some red and dark gray. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool, you guys. 
I like this. The only downside to this, and the Optobotomus also pointed it out, and I will agree with him here, the feet are quite annoying, I will say. But, I mean, it's not too terrible. I mean, if you really don't pay attention, I mean, it works just quite well. It works quite well. So, yeah, that's roughly about it for the jet mode. So, for transformation here, we're going to go ahead and get into this. You just want to go ahead and unpeg the blaster, put it with your other accessories, and then untab these as well. Go ahead and untab these. Now what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to lift this, I don't know if it will lift, probably not, this entire section up. Right here, just lift that on up. And then as we can see here, for each section here, just go on ahead and move those arms out for each side, like so. And then what you're going to want to do is, for the arms, just go on ahead and rotate them back each side, like so. And then what you're going to want to do, I believe, yeah, that's perfect. That's how it's supposed to go. And what you're going to want to do next, real quick, is take this turn it like around let me go put this entire side down all the way down forgot to put that piece up and what you want to do is you want to take the entire section right here but how it's originally supposed to go I just messed that piece up you're supposed to lift this piece up do it like that it's safer that way do it like that and then there he reveals his head I'm gonna go on ahead put my camera up just a tad bit so as we can see here, I think I need to kind of move my camera up just a little bit more. And as I said, you can see the head here. And it's just going to go on ahead, and I believe so. I cannot remember what it was. Hang on. Real quick. I'm so sorry. I think that's, I think that's supposed to go for, like, vehicle mode. I think I just did that wrong. All wrong. So that's his head practically all done. And I'm going to go ahead and just put the section down so that way you guys can get a better view of this. So what you want to do next, keep this piece up, okay? And what you're going to want to do is I believe you're going to want to take this entire piece section at the bottom. And, oh wait, sorry about that. You want to keep his head down real quick. Like keep it down and then move his arms back. Then you can lift on his head up and put that section back. Hang on. Just make sure his head stays in a halfway decent position. Wait. Cannot tell if I'm doing this wrong. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Maybe if I turn his head all the way around. There. And then I can go ahead and put his head back, like so. And this just sucks, doesn't it? Just having to rearrange the camera each time. Oh boy. Go ahead and do the same for the other side. And then, what you're going to want to do next, take this entire section of those, so there's a couple tab slots in the back right here, as we can see. Go on ahead and fold this piece back like so. And what's going to happen is that you can see the two pegs right here that are going to peg into these two slots here. So you just want to cut it gently. Do it like this. As we can see right here, they're just going to go on ahead and peg right in there. And then what you're going to want to do next is take these pieces on each side. Then you'll have that. It's looking pretty good already, isn't it? And what you want to do is you want to take out... Well, not yet. You don't have to do that quite yet. What you want to do is take each side of the foot and lift them up. Once you've done that, go ahead and separate the feet. And move... So basically, once you have that, you just want to go ahead and do it like that. Fold. Like so. Fold to the back. Put the feet there and turn his foot leg all the way around and roughly do the same for the other side just fold that back put it together fold that back there you have one foot 
And you have Blitzwing for the Transformer Studio Series line. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna say it, I love it. I'm honestly not disappointed in the figure one bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down just a tad bit. As we can see, we have Blitzwing. Pretty nice, and oh, and also, if you want to, just go ahead and fold these out. That's It's a suggestion that you can do, but honestly, I'm just gonna keep it like that because there's honestly no point in taking those out. But yeah, I think this is pretty cool, you guys. Oh, and also, real quick, I think you're supposed to go on ahead and do it like this, if you want. Do the same for the other side, and it just falls. <laughs> go ahead, put that section back up. Mine just like to fall, don't they? Like so, I cannot tell if I need to, here, well, let me check something real quick. I'm pretty sure it's supposed, yeah, it's supposed to go like this. I did it right, I did it right the first time. You can go ahead and fold his wings back just a tad bit, and there you go, guys. You have the one and only Decepticon Blitzwing. Pretty cool, guys. I like this very much. I like it very much, you guys. Now, it's kind of difficult to stand, but it's a pretty good, decent-looking figure. I like the detailing here. I am very impressed. And real quick, if you want to, you can go on ahead and store the stabby hand back here in this little hole slot, like so, just to store it. And he can hold on to his other blaster, like so, or his one blaster. He can hold on to his blaster, like so. The one thing you have to hold this entire section to rotate his arms, and you also gotta fold these out. I keep forgetting this, some stuff. So yeah, you guys, this is Blitzwing, 100% transformed in every way. So I think this figure is magnificent. I think they did amazing. I mean, just the head sculpt is just amazing. And a lot of people say he has a gas, like an oxygen mask on. I'll agree, I'll agree. Pretty good, pretty good. I do like the yellow orangish paint that you put there and a little bit of orangish plastic there. I think they did pretty good. I'm not disappointed in this figure one bit, you guys. I like this. Very, very well, like, engineered. Blasters well detailed. So you can see, very well detailed, you guys. And for another cool thing is, is that his hand can open like so. Do that all the way. Just gonna go ahead and keep it like that. But yeah, I think that they did pretty good. Magnificent. I like this. And I mean, this is one of the figures that I was really looking forward to. I was really looking forward to this figure. So yeah, you guys, and that's roughly pretty much it. And except we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of the detailing real quick. So for the arm here, we can see some nice detailing through here and nice detailing for the legs as we can see here and line those legs back up so yeah i do like this i do like it nice silver paint and detail here more amazing detailing as we can see but other than that you guys it's, it's pretty cool i like it so let me know your guys' opinion down in the comments down below of what you thought about this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And be sure to smash the like button. And if you want to, consider subscribing to the channel. That would help me and this channel out very much. And then we'll, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.